Hey, Evan and Hardy, it's Grandma Staples again. I'm gonna read you the book, The Secret of the First One Up. And looking at the cover, the looks like a couple groundhogs. And this week we're talking about Groundhog Day. It helps us know if we're gonna have more winter or an early spring. And so I think this is about these two characters. Looks like a dad and a daughter groundhog. We're all, so we're learning about characters and stories, who the story is about. The secret of the first one up. Lila twirled around and around in the candlelit den. On the wall, her shadow spun like a whirling top. Time for all groundhogs to be in bed, Papa called. But I'm not tired, Lila cried. I can't possibly sleep all the way until spring. Now Lila Mama said everyone else is in bed and Uncle Wilbur is about to head for his den. Lila made a face at her drowsy brother and snoring sister and began to waltz with her shadow. There's her shadow, see, when the light's shining on the other side of you, there's a shadow. She knew that above ground, chilly winds shivered through the forest and fat gray squirrels scurried to check their hidden acorns. Down below, her family was happy to climb into bed and pull fluffy covers under furry chins. Every one of them was ready for the long winter sleep, but not Lila. I hate to go to bed, she said. It's such a long, long time until spring. That's how I used to feel when I was a young groundhog, Uncle Wilbur said. But now I enjoy all the rest I can get. You always get up early to go above ground, Lila said. What do you do up there? Aren't you scared to go all alone? Is it cold? Is it snowy? Is anyone else around? What do you do up there? If I answered all your questions, I'd never get to sleep, said Uncle Wilbur. Even worse, I'd give away the secret. What secret, Lila asked. The secret of the first one up, said her uncle. But I want to know, said Lila, I love secrets. Then make sure you are up earlier than anyone else, said her uncle. That's the only way to know. That's how it's always been, and that's the fun of it. He scooped Lila up, tucked her into bed, and kissed her goodnight. See you in the spring, he said, tiptoeing out the door. But how will I know when to wake up, Lila called after him. Uncle Wilbur's voice echoed from the tunnel. Just try to beat me. Lila listened to Papa's rumbling snore and Mama's deep, even breathing. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be the first one up, she said, yawning. But the only way to be sure is not to go to sleep at all. She rubbed her eyes and yawned again. I'll think of exciting things like digging new tunnels, and running through the forest and mysterious secrets and then Lila was spinning. Down and down she spun into the warm darkness of deep winter sleep. Above ground, the days passed. Storms roared, branches snapped, snow fell and melted and fell again. Cardinals flashed red through the white landscape and perched on ice covered branches. Deer wandered through the trees searching for food. And then, one day, Lila's eyes flew open. She leaped out of bed. Who's there? What happened? She cried. Nothing moved. No one was awake. But Lila knew from the smell of the air and the feel of the earth that a long time had passed since her Uncle Wilbur had tucked her into bed. Uncle Wilbur, she had challenged, he had challenged her to be the first one up. But maybe he was already above ground and she would never learn the secret. Lila pulled on her clothes and ran along the dark, silent tunnel. Uncle Wilbur, I woke up all by myself, she called, poking her head into his den. She patted the sleeping bulge of blankets. I beat you. What do you think of that? Her uncle snored softly. Let's, let's go above ground, Lila cried. She shook his shoulder. Come on, let's go. Not yet, he murmured. A few minutes more. But Lila couldn't wait. 
Not even for one minute. She had to be out under the open sky to breathe the wind blowing through the forest clearing and to hear the birds calling. She just had to know the secret. Lila hurried up the tunnel towards the light, bursting out into the open air. She found herself surrounded by those who stay awake all winter. Squirrels, deer, beaver, foxes, rabbits, raccoons, cardinals, chickadees, badgers, and porcupines. Tell us, tell us, they cried. Do you see it? Lila blinked in the bright light. See what? She asked. Your shadow, cried the animals. Do you see your shadow? Was the secret about shadows? The animals stood watching her. No one moved. The clearing became so still that Lila's ears roared with silence. She took a deep breath. The air felt cool and smelled piney and brand new. Lila looked down at the ground, searching for the gray shadow that had danced with her in the candlelight. She looked to her left and then to her right. She twisted around and looked behind her. Suddenly, Lila felt lonely, the only groundhog awake without her, even her little shadow for company. I'm sorry, she said, I don't see it. Don't be sorry, the animals cried, dancing around the clearing. Spring is coming. Spring is coming, Lila asked, but how do you know? An old badger stopped his dance and peered at her curiously. My uncle Wilbur said, if I was the first one up, I would learn a secret, Lila said. Ah, yes, the secret, said the old badger. It's very simple. Every year, the first groundhog up on this day has the special job of looking for his or her shadow. If it's there, then there will be six more weeks of winter. And the groundhog hurries back to bed. I would hate that. Lila said. If like today the shadow isn't there, the old badger continues, it means spring is coming and we all rejoice. But you need the sun to have a shadow, said Lila. So a beautiful sunny day means winter is staying and a cloudy gray day means spring is coming. That seems backward to me. Just then Lila heard a familiar voice behind her. Backward it may be, but it's the way of shadows in spring, said her uncle, climbing out of the tunnel. I did it, Uncle Wilbur, I did it, I cried. I was the first one up, and I learned the secret, and it is true about, is it true about spring? Is it really coming? Would all our neighbors wait for the first groundhog each year if we didn't do a good job of predicting spring? Uncle Wilbur asked. If spring is coming, can we go down below and wake everyone up? Lila asked, can we make some acorn pancakes and have a picnic to welcome spring? My stomach is grumbling already, said her, said her uncle. Lila slipped her little paw into her uncle's big one. We won't tell anyone our secret, will we? She asked. Of course not, said Uncle Wilbur, smiling down at her. Lila smiled back, <clears throat> because that's how it's been, and that's the fun of it, she said. Fun? So it looks like the characters in the book are Uncle Wilbur, Lila, the animals are characters, and don't forget, back here, her whole family are characters in this story, but Lila and Uncle Wilbur are the main characters who the story is about. All right, thanks you guys.